Have you ever wondered how a chess-playing AI can anticipate and counter your every move? Just as a seasoned chess player contemplates the board, predicting and preparing for an opponent's moves, an artificial intelligence entity uses a fascinating mechanism known as reinforcement learning. Imagine a child learning to walk. Each stumble, each fall, and each successful step is a lesson. The child learns from these experiences, gradually understanding how to maintain balance and navigate the world. This is strikingly similar to how an AI learns via reinforcement learning. It experiments with various actions, observes the outcomes, learns from the consequences, and refines its strategies over time. Let's take our chess scenario. The AI is like a novice player at the beginning, unsure of the consequences of moving a pawn here or a queen there. It may lose a few games initially, but each loss is a lesson. Over time, it learns to anticipate moves, strategize, and respond effectively. In the world of artificial intelligence, this process of trial and error, of learning from each decision and its outcome, is the essence of reinforcement learning. It's not just about playing a game of chess, it's about understanding the implications of each move, learning from it, and using that knowledge to make better moves in the future. Just as the child learns to walk, the AI learns to play chess. It's a continuous cycle of action, consequence, learning, and improvement. It's not about winning or losing, it's about learning and growing. But let's not oversimplify. Reinforcement learning isn't just about an AI learning to play chess. It's about how an AI can learn to navigate a maze, control a robot, predict stock prices, and so much more. The possibilities are as vast and diverse as the world itself. So, is reinforcement learning merely playing a high-stakes game of chess with the world? Let's delve deeper. To understand reinforcement learning, we must first grasp the concept of an agent and its environment. Imagine an agent as a curious little artificial intelligence navigating through the world. This world, the environment, is the setting in which our AI operates. It's a playground filled with situations, challenges, and opportunities where the agent can learn and grow. Now imagine this agent as a child in a candy store. The child, our agent, is new to the environment and doesn't exactly know what to do. The candy store, the environment, is filled with different types of candies. The child interacts with the environment, picking up a candy here, tasting a candy there, and gradually learning which candies it likes and which ones it doesn't. In the same way, our AI agent interacts with its environment. It makes decisions, takes actions, and observes the outcome. The agent doesn't know the best action to take initially. It's like groping in the dark. But, as it interacts more with the environment, it starts to understand the consequences of its actions. This is where the concept of rewards and punishments comes into play. If the agent makes a good decision, one that leads to a positive outcome, it gets a reward. On the other hand, if the decision leads to a negative outcome, the agent receives a punishment. These rewards and punishments are like carrots and sticks, guiding the agent towards making better decisions. Over time, the agent learns to associate specific actions with their corresponding rewards or punishments. It starts to understand that choosing a certain action in a certain situation will lead to a reward. Conversely, it also learns to avoid actions that lead to punishments. This learning process is iterative. The agent keeps interacting with the environment, keeps learning from its experiences, and keeps adjusting its actions to maximize rewards and minimize punishments. Just like in life, in reinforcement learning too, the sweet taste of rewards and the bitter sting of punishments shape our AI agent's understanding. Now, how does this agent learn from its interaction with the environment? Let's delve into the intricate process. Think of the learning process as a journey of discovery. A newly born AI agent knows nothing about its environment. It's like an alien landing on a new planet. It has to explore to learn about this strange new world. This exploration phase is critical. It's a stage where the agent tries out new things taking actions, making mistakes, and learning from them. It's a bit like a toddler learning to walk. They stumble, they fall, but each time they get up, they understand a bit more about how to balance, how to coordinate their movements. This is exploration in action. Now imagine our AI agent has spent some time in this exploration phase. It's tried out a lot of actions, it's seen the consequences, it's learned a lot. What does it do next? It starts to exploit this knowledge. Exploitation is the phase where the agent uses what it has learned to make the best decisions. It's a bit like a professional athlete. They've trained, they've practiced, they've learned. Now they use all this knowledge to perform at their best to win the game, 
so the learning process is a delicate balancing act between exploration and exploitation. Too much exploration and the agent might never find the best strategy. Too much exploitation and the agent might miss out on better strategies. It's like going to your favorite restaurant. Do you order your favorite dish or try something new? If you always order your favorite, you might miss out on a new dish that you might like even more. But if you always try something new, you might end up with a dish that you don't like at all. So, the agent needs to balance between trying new things, exploration, and using what it knows, exploitation, to make the best decisions. It's a complex process, but when done right, it can lead to amazing results. Exploration versus exploitation, a delicate dance that our AI agent must master. Why does reinforcement learning matter, you ask? Well, let's dive into the fascinating world of its applications and you'll soon see how it's influencing our everyday lives. Reinforcement learning is like the secret sauce in the recipe of modern technology. It's the ingredient that's empowering machines to operate autonomously, make decisions, and learn from their mistakes. It's like training a dog, but in this case, the dog is a machine, and the tricks are complex tasks that once required human intervention. Take self-driving cars, for instance. These marvels of technology are no longer a figment of science fiction, but a reality cruising on our roads. How do they navigate traffic, avoid obstacles, or even park themselves? The answer lies in reinforcement learning. These cars learn from countless hours of driving data. They make decisions, see the outcomes, and adjust their future actions accordingly. The more they drive, the better they get. Now let's shift gears and move to the world of gaming. AI has been beating humans at games for a while now. Remember when the AI AlphaGo defeated the world champion at Go? That victory was a testament to the power of reinforcement learning. Game-playing AI learns by playing millions of games, understanding different strategies, and constantly improving its gameplay. And how about when you browse your favorite online store or streaming platform and it seems to know exactly what you're looking for? That's reinforcement learning at work too. Recommendation systems learn from your past behavior, make suggestions, see your response, and refine their future recommendations. They're always learning, always improving, and always striving to provide you with the best possible experience. So why does reinforcement learning matter? Because it's at the heart of some of the most exciting advancements in technology. It's making machines smarter, our lives easier, and the impossible possible. From games to cars, reinforcement learning is reshaping the world one decision at a time. Let's revisit what we've learned about reinforcement learning. So we started off with the mystique of reinforcement learning, didn't we? We learned that it's a branch of artificial intelligence that enables an agent to learn in an interactive environment by trial and error using feedback from its own actions and experiences. That's like learning to ride a bike, right? You fall, you get back up, and you eventually figure out how to keep your balance. That's the essence of reinforcement learning. Then we delved into the nitty-gritty of reinforcement learning. We discovered that it revolves around a simple idea, an agent, an environment, and the aim to maximize the total reward. The agent takes actions, the environment responds, and the agent gets rewards or penalties. It's a constant dance between actions and consequences, much like in life itself. Next, we embarked on the journey of the learning process. We found out that this process is iterative and time-driven, with the agent constantly updating its knowledge to make better and better decisions over time. It's a never-ending loop of learning, adjusting, and improving. Just as we humans do, the agent learns from both its mistakes and its successes. We also explored the vast application spectrum of reinforcement learning. From playing games like chess and go, to real-world applications like resource management, autonomous vehicles and robotics, reinforcement learning is redefining the limits of what machines can achieve. Wrapping it all up, reinforcement learning is a fascinating field that's all about learning from interaction, making decisions, and improving over time. It's a testament to how we can design machines to learn and adapt in complex environments, much like we humans do. Next time you see an AI making a decision, remember it's all just a high-stakes game of chess.